My name's Belinda Hewitt. I'm one of the sisters within the Elderly Care Directorate. I'm one of seven, actually. There's seven wards that make up the Elderly Care Directorate. Um, I've worked on Ward 3 for the past six months. Um, my experience with the Trust is 28 years. So since January on Ward 3, we've run improvement plans every month. We started off in January with our communication improvement plan. Um, we want to be able now to communicate to staff, relatives and patients in an open um, manner. Uh, we want to be approachable. Um, within our communication improvement plan, we brought in Bay-based nursing. Um, we allocate every shift um, two members of staff to seven patients. And the advantage to this are that the patients can see the staff, so there's high visibility, so they don't become anxious or concerned, whereas they may have been before. And they get really get to know those patients for the for the shift and for the next day as well. So we've got con continuity of care, and that works really well. Trained nurse looking after the patient, liaises with the relatives when they come in, and can really give them an up to date account of how their um, loved one has been for that shift and what interaction we offered. And that's worked out really positive. We've also run a nutrition improvement plan pain management improvement plan, documentation as well, and we're just about to do one on tissue viability. So it's a great place to work, Ward 3. New staff have arrived and they're going through um, competency-based checklist training. They've been allocated buddies and mentors. Well, we've just started running supervision sessions for the staff so that they feel that they've got support from their team members, myself, my deputies and we can work together collaboratively. The ward sisters in the directorate work very closely together. We have a meeting once a week and we try to share um, improvement plans, um, success stories and we work through our audit data to make sure that, that good practices spread across the wards. Um, I want to introduce you to some of the staff that work on, on the ward and in the elderly care directorate. Hello, my name's Ali Maparura. I'm a nurse practitioner in elderly care. My passion is elderly care. I think there are so many challenges and so many things to learn. You never stop developing as a professional and you can never say you know it all. Um, it's quite often a, a jack of all trades, master of none. And the, one of the delightful things is getting to know lots of different people in the multidisciplinary team. Um, in older people's care, we don't focus on diseases or medical conditions. We concentrate on the person and it's important that we do that because without looking at how they view their, their health or their illness um, and what support they can get from family and carers, it will be really difficult to treat them and make them feel well. So we like to involve um, their carers or next of kin in finding out where's the best place for them to go when they leave hospital. Hello, my name is Dorothy. I'm working on War 3 in the Bournemouth Royal Hospital. Um, I had this opportunity to work on this ward for the elderly um, three months ago, so I'm quite new for this. And I think it's a very good ward and I'm really lucky to get this job feel because I have like a caring personality and I just want to help people and I think this is the right place to be. Um, I'm Tom, I'm a rehab assistant for the APAL team and I work very closely with the uh, patients on Ward 3. Um, it's a very good job, it's very challenging and uh, it's quite overwhelming when I started but the results have uh, been more than worth it and it's a very rewarding job. I work with physios and occupational therapists uh, to help with the patient's well-being and uh, mobility. It's very rewarding to um, work very close with elderly patients and watch them progressively get better and back on their feet and back into their homes and back to their normal lives. I'm Keith Mitchell, I'm a uh, hospital governor and I spend uh, quite a bit of my uh, time on the elderly ward talking to uh, relatives and carers about the patients here. I think it's a great, great team. It's really nice to see them, them actually go out of their way to look at the patients' needs, look at the patients as individuals and really find ways of helping them beyond their normal uh, clinical needs. Hi, I'm Naomi Lankford. I'm one of the deputy sisters here on Ward 3. Um, I've been working here now for just over six, seven months now. 
Um, the ward's been through a lot of changes. We're currently a transitional care ward, which means that we take patients that are generally medically fit and waiting discharge planning. Um, one of the benefits of working with those kind of patients is that you get to know them, you get to work on a lot with their rehabilitation alongside the therapy team. Um, discharge planning can be quite complex so you get to know the social service team as well who have bond quite strong with us now. It's really good for a, a new starting post, you get to get a good grounding of basic nursing care. Um, we're committed to training um, and promoting learning opportunities so um, if you were successful in the post here we would really help and back you all the way for making sure that your professional development was adhered to. My name's Michael Mullally, I work on Ward 3 which is primarily with elders and varying degrees of health. I get an awful lot from this. So I've worked with elderly people for over 20 years and working in a hospital setting, I feel that I can bring a quality of life that maybe they wouldn't get if they was at home, they're cared for. Uh, there's a lot of communication that's humorous, as well as sometimes quite open people are able to share their concerns with me and hopefully in my role as a HCA I'm able to give them some support and also, also to comfort them when they need it. Hi, my name is Claire. I'm one of the Deputy Clinical Leaders on Ward 3. I came to work here because I'm really passionate about looking after older people. Some people think that looking after older people isn't a very glamorous job but it's actually one of the most rewarding jobs that you can have. Older people come in very poorly and they quite often can't tell you what's wrong with them and you need a bit of detective work to try and work out what their symptoms mean and then we can sort them out, get them better and then get them back to an appropriate place. Working in medicine for the elderly is one of the most rewarding jobs we'll ever have so that is why you should come and work with us. Hi, I'm Julia, I'm the Occupational Therapist on Ward 3. Um, I particularly enjoy working in medicine for the elderly as it is a rewarding job and I like that Ward 3 work as a team. Um, our patients get input from a number of professionals including doctors, nurses, therapists and psychiatrists. Um, my job involves helping elderly people regain their independence which is so lovely to see. Often they come in quite vulnerable and seeing them develop and reach their goals with us is what makes this job really lovely and that's why I think it's very nice to work in medicine for the elderly. Hi, my name is Philip Watson and I'm a HCA on Ward 3. Um, working in an MFE on Ward 3 has um, given me a passion for wanting to be a nurse and with the help of my ward sisters on the ward, I'm applying for my nursing in September. So yeah, definitely a brilliant place to work. There's a saying that says um, people quite often don't remember what you did for them, but they do remember how you made them feel. And I hope here at Ward 3 that all our patients and relatives and staff um, go away feeling like they've been treated with care and dignity. We encourage all the staff to treat our patients as if it was their mum, their elderly relative, and, and how would that they like to be treated themselves with dignity and respect. I really want the staff to know all about the patients and I think that's really important that they do that so that they can care for them as individualised as possible. Um, caring for elderly people is, is a real specialism and they come into hospital with more than one issue that requires treatment. We need to offer them supported um, discharges when they leave hospital and make sure it's safe so there's really a lot going on it's not just about coming in providing a cup of tea and doing a bed bath you really really need to um, think about that patient and strive towards offering them excellent care it's for every patient every day and everywhere